Welcome to Faulable Drive Time. In this video, we will show you the linear motor series, how they work and how to operate them with a new generation motion controller series. Linear movements are possible with several mechanisms. Direct drive operation is possible with a linear motor. In linear motor, the shaft does not rotate, but is driven in a straight path with the help of the drive electronics. Linear motors are used in short positioning tasks, like a zoom and focus, or filter change in optical application, or to replace small linear pneumatic system where the position and force must be controlled with high precision. In microscopes, linear motor may be used to move the sample under the lenses in X and Y direction. Linear motors can be integrated in small space. Thanks to simpler mechanical integration, they have long lifetime and quiet operation. Let's have a look at the main parts of the motor. Thanks to the no magnetic stator, there is no detent force between the moving parts, so there is no vibration even at low speed. The road included the magnets. Three analog hole sensors are used to detect the magnetic road position and the two outer lubricant polymer bearings ensure a long motor lifetime when properly used. Here you see the complete motor family. There are four different sizes. The coding system for the Faulhaber linear motor gives many information. The first two digits are the square size in millimeter, 8, 12, 14, 20 millimeter. And the second two digits are the length of the stator, 30, 47, 83, and 70 millimeters. The bigger the motor, the stronger it is. The small 0830 delivers 1 newton of continuous force up to the largest one with 9.7 newton of continuous force. The peak force is typically three times the continuous value during one second in a 10% intermittent duty cycle. The next three digits show the stroke length. The road stroke depends on the number of magnets and uh, this determines the total length. For the small LM0830, we have 15 to 14 mm available and the big one has six different standard road lengths, therefore the stroke up to 220 mm. Other lengths are available on request. Linear motors are available with two different types of sensor output. This information is given by the last two digits. The analog oil sensor and the synchron sensor are indicated by the number 1 and 2. Uh, the analog oil sensor can be easily used with all Faulhaber motion controllers, while the differential output of the synchron sensors are used for specific applications. You can find more information in one of the next videos. The 0830 has a flex cable. The larger motor has flat ribbon wires as a standard execution and optionally is provided with a 10-pin connector or single wires. On demand, you can ask for a special connector. For easy plug-and-play operation, we have a suitable extension cable for the MC3001 or 3603 series. Well, now you know the linear motor family, you know how to select or identify them easily. In the next step, we want to connect and run this motor. Therefore, I got support from our motion controller expert, Andreas Wagner, who you already know from our other videos. Hello, Andreas. Hello, Mario. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Could you help us on the connection and how to operate with our linear motor and motion controllers? Sure, I uh, brought our no newest edition here, the uh, MC3603, and I think that's a uh, perfect suite for most of them here. Let's pick a medium-sized ones and then um, make that run. Okay, so nice. So thank you for watching this video. Check out our other video on Faulhaber Drive Time. Feel free to leave a comment here below. Take care and goodbye. <laughs>